hello so welcome back to my channel this is your girl ee -E. if you're new here you're welcome and if you're returning subscribe well thank you so much for always returning back to my channel in today's video i'm going to create this beautiful look and please if it is something that you're interested in stay to the end and please remember to like subscribe share and also comment down below what you think about this look so without much i do let's dive into the video so first of all i started with my eye primer and after that i went into my eyeshadow palette and i'm using the gorgeous me eyeshadow palette so i use that first color into my crease region above my crease region and apply there you can see that i was going in a circular motion going back and front going back and front back and front so i'm just going in with a color to intensify that color right there so that is what i was probably doing yeah after that i went in with this particular shade on top of my first color to just blend in that edges of that color so that is what i was probably doing after that color i went in with this um orange color to brighten under my brow bone i want to maintain that color there so that is why i went in with a lighter shade of color around that area to blend everything together to have that smooth transition between all the colors i don't want to see where the first color started the second color started and also end so that is what i was probably doing just blended everything together before going ahead to cut my crease as i always say in my videos eyeshadow is all about blending so after that i went ahead to do my finishing touches before cutting the crease and this is for the beginners if you don't know how to cut your crease just do what i was doing in the video okay i draw a line in between my crease and my lid to show me where exactly to cut the crease so that is what i did earlier on so that is going to be my guide to draw my crease so if you're a beginner you don't know how to draw your crease um try this technique and it will work for you so i'm just careful drawing my crease i'm not that perfect but um yeah we move so i was just taking time to draw my crease that is what i was probably doing so after you finish drawing your crease and you have to blend it well to avoid your eyeshadow creasing on your lid you have to make sure that you blend it well with your blending brush so that everything can be in place so after that i went in with this um is this sea blue shimmer color on my lid and i was just tapping 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 uh, the color on my lid with that flat far free brush of mine and also after i finished tapping that sea blue shimmer color i went in with that um blue shimmer color beside the first color to um just image blend it together into each other i don't want to see where my first color started and ended so i was just using that blue to blend everything together and after that so i went in with um this type of color i can mention it it's also a shimmer color so uh, this is the color i use this color at the end of it and blend everything together and after that too i went in with my first color the color i use for my transition color okay that is what i used to blend everything together and um, my eyeshadow was ready so um it's all about what you like and uh you know before your eyeshadow can come out perfectly it all depends on your blending so that is all i did for this look and after that i went ahead to um do my finishing touches then i draw my line and um, yeah so the look was just given actually i don't know what i was doing you know i'm just going with the flow yes i don't have 
this particular look in my mind so i just take my palette and said well, let me try something different today and this is what i came out with so yeah when you are a type of person you don't know what to do just play with your palette and you come out with something nice so that is what i probably did and it come out nice so i went ahead to use my uh pen liner to draw my ring line and that is all after i finished with my eye makeup i went in with my vitamin c serum from kiss beauty and i massaged it into my skin wall and waited for a while before going in with my moisturizer that is the day by day cream and as my moisturizer and i also massage it well into the skin then i went in with my primer from zekel cosmetics and also apply it at my t-zone area and wait for a while before i went in with my adventure foundation okay so please um before applying your foundation with your beauty blender let it be thumbed okay not wet make sure that there's not water in the beauty blender before you use it to blend your foundation so one thing about this foundation is i love the way how it blends into my skin perfectly so after that i went ahead to contour with this bella ivory um foundation actually it's a tester so i went ahead with that foundation to contour my forehead my cheeks and my jawline and my nose so yeah After I finish applying it, I have to blend, blend, blend. And when it comes to your forehead, blend into your hairline, okay? You have to blend. And when it comes to your cheek side, you blend it up. And also your jawline, blend it up. You don't want to blend it down. When you blend it down, you are dropping your face. So blend it up when it comes to your cheeks and your jawline. So you blend, blend, blend. You don't want to see any line of demarcation. After my contour, I'm going in with this red lipstick as my blush. And I really, really love this lipstick. It blends into my skin perfectly. So yeah. So I'm just going to blend it. You can see how it blends smoothly into the skin. So I'm going to blend it and also apply it on my forehead. So after I finish blending in the blush, I'm going in with my Blossom Concealer in the shade Blossom and I'm going to use it to highlight under my eye, my forehead and uh, other places of my face.
so after using the concealer to highlight under my eye and the other places i'm going in with my sasha buttercup setting powder to set my concealers So after that, I'm going in to contour with my contour palette and I'm using that shade to contour my forehead, my jawline and all the places that I cream contour earlier on. After contouring the face, I'm going ahead with the exact shade powder of mine to set the whole face and also blend everything together to look seamlessly. After setting the whole face, I went in with this blush and I'm using that shade to uh, apply on my cheeks and my forehead. So after I finish with my settings and everything, I'm going in with my setting spray to set in the whole face to melt in those powder look. After that, I'm baking under my eye and also doing some kind of reverse contour and so on and so forth. After that, I'm going to line my lip with the carrot up liner to line my lip and then went in with my nude lipstick and that is all and also gloss it up and yeah. After that, I'm also going to take off the excess powder under my eye and also my reverse contour and blend everything together so that I can have that smooth uh, transition on my face. So after that, I'm going in with my Adventure Deuce Fix Spray 
to finish everything up before my mascara and also i went in with that highlighter on my cheek above my cheek to give it that glow yes so that is all for the look yeah so that will be all for this look and guys thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed today's tutorial if it does give me those thumbs up and please comment down below what you think about this look and please if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe every part of this channel see you in my next video i'm out <laughs>